Hey guys, this is Brian at Obedia. I'm going to give you a quick tip today on how you can export your song as an audio mix down in Reason 5. This is real easy to do, so let's leap right into it. Once you have your song fully programmed in Reason and you are ready to turn it into a mix down file to take it to mastering or put it on a CD, various things like that, you simply need to do a quick setting in your timeline and arrangement window inside of Reason. Take a look at the top section where your ruler is. And you're going to see a few different flags. You have the left flag, which is your beginning flag, and you have the right. This is also how you can set a loop section. But you're also going to see a third flag, and that's the end flag. What you want to do is drag the end flag to the point at which you would like for your song to stop. Usually you'll probably end up putting that roughly in the same place as the right locator. You can put it a little beyond if you want a little bit of a tail on the song, however. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to click on the File menu. And in the File menu, we're going to scroll down and we're going to select the option for Export Song as Audio File. Now you can also export a loop from here as well, and we can talk about that later. In this case, we're going to click on Export Song as Audio File, and this is going to bring up a file browsing window, and here you just simply need to choose what type of file you would like to save. You're going to notice that I have two options here, WAVE and AIFF. WAVE is more than likely what you're going to use on average uh, for going to CD mastering and various things like that, and of course, give your song a name. After you've done that and selected where you would like to save your file, and this will be the same on both Windows and Mac, of course, you just need to choose where to save your file, click on Save, and you're going to get the Export Audio Settings dialog box. Here you can set the various settings for the file that you're going to be creating. Now, most of the time, if you're going to a CD, you can select 44.1 kHz and 16-bit on your depth. However, if you're going into mastering and various things like that, it doesn't hurt to go higher in your sample rate and your bit depth. In fact, very often a common practice is a sample rate of 48 hertz and a bit depth of 24. Now this will create a file with a little more headroom and thus usually make mixing and mastering a little easier on you, but this is really all personal preference, of course. Now you're also going to notice that when I select the option for 24-bit, the dither checkbox goes away. If you want to dither your file at 16-bit, you certainly can. And what dithering essentially does is works to control some of the digital noise that comes into play anytime that we create digital audio. So you can add dithering if you would like. Again, this is a very personal preference kind of situation, so just choose what you would like to your liking. After you've chosen the settings that you would like to apply for the file you're going to be exporting, simply click on OK. And then Reason is going to do a little bit of thinking, and it's going to show you that it is exporting your song. You notice you can kind of follow along here in your timeline and your transport locator is going to go all the way to the very end. And there you see it stopped at the E marker, which I previously set. And now your song has been fully exported and is ready to be taken to mastering or to a CD or wherever else you might end up going. Now, exporting a loop as an audio file is very much the same as exporting your song but with one difference, and that is that we are, instead of setting our E locator, we're going to just set our left and right locators. So let's say that I wanted to export a, uh, a small loop between bars one and nine right here. I would simply drag my left and my right locators to create a loop. So normally this would be a loop selection. If I were to play back, this would loop my audio. But in this case, I want to create a loop of that section. So now I've set my locators. I'm going to click on File, scroll down, and select Export Loop as Audio File. Now again, you're going to get the file browser. Give this a name. Choose the file type that you would like to export, WAVE or AIFF. Hit Save. You're going to get the Export Audio Settings dialog. Again, choose the settings that match your project or your own personal tastes. Hit OK. When you do this, again, Reason is going to do a little bit of thinking. When that's all done, you'll have exported a new loop of your audio file from your song, and you can take that loop and, of course, take it into other audio workstations or make use of it in different ways. 
So that's just a quick overview of the ways that you can make use of exporting audio in Reason. I hope that this is useful to you guys as always. Please stay in touch with me. My email is brian at obedia.com. Find me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash obedia tutor. And of course on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash obedia tutor. Please give me a call. Find out how you can work one-on-one with us and we'll help you to tame your technology, which is what we do best here at Obedia. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.